It is estimated that one in every 200 pregnancies result in an atopic pregnancy. One in every 200. We don't have the technology at this juncture in time to surgically remove a baby from the fallopian tube to the uterus without damaging the fertilized egg. See, when an egg is fertilized and it sets itself in the fallopian tube, this is called an ectopic pregnancy, and it can be very dangerous for both the child and the mother. There's only three options, really, when this occurs. You can chemically abort the child. So the mother takes a pill, and this can cause the mother to have side effects. There are side effects to taking chemicals, both for the, obviously, for the child, uh, certain death. The mother will have side effects, and she'll have to be monitored. The other way is to surgically go in. This is also risky. It's a abortion through making an incision right into the fallopian tube. The other option is to observe and wait it out and to see and you can do this with supervision medical supervision. This would be my option when confronted with an ectopic pregnancy. If you are a Christian and you want to if you take the preservation of life seriously this is the path I would recommend wait it out do we jump to science and say science do something about this ectopic pregnancy now and what would science do we can surgically go in and remove the baby from the fallopian tube which would basically be uh, cutting her open or we could chemically poison the mother thereby poisoning the baby and both of these are immediate direct assaults on the child why do that why not give it some time there is a window and there is possibility that the body itself will take care of this um, misfortune sometimes things don't go the way they should go but there are miracles and in my search for answers concerning this issue that DPR Jones asked me to address I stumbled on a MSNBC article baby born after rare ectopic pregnancy doctors in Australia call healthy full-term infant a miracle Sydney Australia a woman in a northern Australian city gave birth to a healthy baby girl after a full-term full-term ectopic pregnancy hospital officials said on Friday that the mother of 34 had no symptoms or complications during her pregnancy so doctors performed a routine cesarean section an ectopic pregnancy which occurs when a fertilized egg develops outside the uterus usually miscarries on its own or it is terminated by a doctor who feels that the threat to the mother is great now the baby born was six pounds three ounces and they're calling it a miracle so but there is rare cases and Thunderfoot is known for bringing up exceptions to the rule thereby supposedly winning arguments all you have to do is bring up an exception to the rule and voila if you can provide an exception therefore you know and I have provided an exception the link to this article will be in the description so there are cases where an atopic pregnancy is successful so if you are one of those who has a desire to save the child then give it some time 
make wise decisions. You can have it monitored and assess the risks. But I think to jump into a, a attack the child first policy, a pro-death, pro-abortion policy when faced with something like this issue uh, is incorrect and unnecessary. I've noticed when arguing ab about abortion with atheists, they will usually say, what about this, and what about that, and well, and this is no exception. DPR Jones is using this tactic, what about this? In other words, he's trying to say, will you have, will you kill the baby to save the mother, in this case? Well, here is the the bottom line. I don't think it's okay to kill a child, a developing baby. I'm firm on that. The church is firm on that. And it's absurd to bring up uh, these cases to somehow shift the rule and say, well, because there is a chance of ectopic pregnancies, therefore we should maintain a pro-abortion stance is just ridiculous. Think of it this way. Is it okay to kill a baby in rare cases? It's absurd. If human life is sacred, and I believe it is, we should seek to save it. At this present time, science has not provided us the answers. Science has not been able to perform a ectopic removal and replant in the uterus. They haven't been able to perform that and until they can do that I would say the first option as a Christian would be to wait and see if the body itself can perform the necessary adjustments or bring it to full term. Now in the extreme case where bleeding is occurring, you've already lost the child. The woman has developed and chosen to take the, take the high road, take the high moral road, and the child begins to develop in the fallopian tube, and it starts to go wrong. Well, you're going to have to go in surgically anyway now. So why not wait, have a clear conscience, and do the best you can. Take the high moral road, rather than rush to kill the child. That's my answer. This is Gear Up. God bless you.